How to synchronise with Xero. Navigating to settings from the home page and entering admin mode, click on the accounting tab. Begin by editing the default tax groups or adding new ones. These groups describe the type of tax such as standard VAT or fuel tax. We will assign the actual percentages later. Next, amend or add to the default nominal groups. These groups relate to the actual codes which will be assigned a little later. In this example, I am adding two extra nominal groups, hire of equipment and sales of equipment, which both relate to revenue. The next step is to set up a new accounting package. Select zero and enter invoice, credit note and purchase order prefixes along with the next number for each of these options if required. Alternatively, leave blank and click on next to proceed. Clicking on Synchronize will open an authentication screen in a new tab. Sign in to Xero if you are not already and select the correct organisation to synchronise with before clicking Allow Access. Bank accounts and nominal codes will be brought into HireHop with the suggested defaults showing in bold. Select and edit a bank account or nominal code to amend the defaults. You can also edit the names if you would like. For nominal codes there must be a default for revenue and for expenses. Select and delete any nominal codes or bank accounts that are unused. Click Next and synchronise again to bring in the tax codes, in this case UK VAT. Select and delete any that are not used. Once again, edit to rename a VAT code or amend the defaults. There must be a default for revenue and for expenses. Finally, click Next and synchronise to bring in contacts. If you have existing contacts in the Hire Hop address book, you can select an imported contact, click edit and choose an existing contact to merge into. It would also be useful to select and delete all contacts not required in HireHop to declutter your address book. Importing the address book is not compulsory. Clicking save will create the new accounting package and the three assign buttons on the page will now flash. First ensure the accounting package is assigned to your depot. If you run multiple depots you can set a different accounting package for each depot or just set one default. Moving on to tax groups, assign the imported tax codes to the relevant group. Choose from the drop down list which will show the imported codes from the accounting package assigned to the depot. Finally, assign the relevant imported nominal codes to your nominal groups from the drop down list. This completes the setup process. For items not following the default tax or nominal codes, you will now be able to set the assigned tax and nominal codes to items in higher sales and labour management. This is also the case for custom items on jobs, as well as on items in invoices, purchase orders and credit notes. Now that the sync has been set up, invoices, purchase orders and credit notes will instantly appear in Xero as soon as they are approved, unless the buffer transactions option was selected in the setup process. Let's approve an invoice. Watch our invoicing video for more help on this. The invoice is given the next available invoice number alongside the prefix chosen. Now moving over to Xero we can see that the invoice instantly appears exactly how it was created in HireHop. Payments registered in Xero will be brought back into HireHop against the invoice and will mark the invoice as paid. Payments manually logged in HireHop will also sync to Xero. Credit notes attached to the relevant invoice sync both ways, and purchase orders created in HireHop will sync to zero too.